The afternoon session saw some of the more traditional wushu disciplines take to the mat. First up was the men's Xing Yi Chuan, and France's Leo Benoit took the first European gold of the championships with a score of 9.45. Joining him on the podium were Macau's Pui Seng Chong and Germany's Christoph Hian. That was followed by the woman's Bagua Tsang, and this mesmerizing performance by China's Jing Duan gave her team their eighth Taolu gold of the week. Korea's Song Jae Cho and Macau's Wai Kyung Cho took the remaining medals. The pace moved up a gear for the third discipline of the afternoon, the men's Shuang Dao. This breathless display of great swordsmanship looked to have been enough to give Korea's Song Jae Cho the gold. But home favorite Vladimir Maximov had other ideas. That score of 9.62 gave Russia their first gold of the games. With Cho having to settle for silver and Cho of Macau the bronze. No, сожалению, на этот чемпионат нас не все удалось так, как хотелось бы, не наш такой не лизучий получился чемпионат, может быть. Но все ребята бились, старались и вот нам повезло, что последний день, последний вид и победила, победил Яков, победила вся команда наша. The last individual discipline from Taolu was the women's Shuangjian, the double straight sword. This wonderful performance gave Tian Hui Zheng a score of 9.62 and Hong Kong's fifth gold medal here in Kazan. Joining her on the podium were Ukraine's Ludmila Temna and Iran's Hania Rajabi. The final two disciplines of the day showcased the talents of the men's and women's duel. Iran took the men's gold with this entertaining performance, whilst the women's gold went to Malaysia. So confirmation of the medal table after five days of Taolu, with China taking eight goals, Hong Kong finishing with five, and Indonesia, Korea and Malaysia all taking two goals each. Russia, Iran and France all took gold on the final day of competition to bring the Taolu to a close here at the 14th World Wushu Championships in Kazan.